Tesla Cybertruck is going to have yoke steering wheel, Elon Musk says. It'll be a tech bandwagon. Mm -hmm. Tech bandwagon. What does he mean by that? Like everyone's going to get on the so, tech bandwagon or it's an actual bandwagon itself? Maybe a little bit of both. Well, of course it's going to have a yoke. All the modern Teslas are using the yoke and all the renders and we're showing off with the yoke, all the pictures we've seen. I really want this car, actually. <laughs> I think we all do. I like this car. This is a, uh, it's big. It's off roady. It's a warthog. I don't know about that, like that marble finish on the render. That's kind of a little different, mm -hmm. but who knows what the, has the big display in the middle, that huge center console. It looks like three cup holders. I'm a big cup holder guy. You are. Yes. Oh man. I pay a lot of attention to the cup holders. I use the cup holders. I run out of cup holders uh -huh. cause I need a cup holder sometimes to deal with previous cups. Yes. Will the Cybertruck have a yoke? This came via Twitter. Cybertruck is intentionally an insane technology bandwagon. I mean, listen, man, they're going to pour everything into the Cybertruck. It's going to be insane. It's not going to be for everyone, which, yeah. which is fine. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Because it got delayed again. Scroll back up to the top here. Let's see what it says. Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla Cybertruck is going to have the yoke steering wheel. A uh, better version of the new steering. Yeah, maybe they'll make some changes to it by the time it comes out. 2022 is what it is now. Uh, Tesla brought the yoke steering wheel to production with the S and X recent versions. Controversial move. Definitely. I've gotten used to it myself. More to come on that because I have the most comprehensive, like just ridiculously detailed Model S Plaid video coming up. Shop so, part of it. Okay. Just a little bit of a spoiler though. Do you like the yoke? And do you want it? in a pickup well so i don't think it's possible to really fall in love with it it's not a thing that um there's a there's a huge learning curve to it like as far as getting even marginally comfortable with it because of how long and how much exposure you've had to typical wheels that have been on everything i would say you know inside of tight quarters and it just depends on your driving habits if you live in the city I should have said this actually in the Tesla video. I, I was trying to imply its pros and cons, mm. but my lifestyle is not a big deal because I do a ton of cruising, like road trip type of thing. And then even when I'm around town, I got parking everywhere, like lots of it. Um, I'm not doing parallel parking. I'm not doing three point turns almost ever. And when cruising, I actually prefer it because I got this really nice line of sight and there's these nubs and it's a really comfortable place to rest your hands and monitor what the car is seeing. So that advantage for me and my driving habit outweighs the downside of be it being clumsy when you're in tight quarters trying to park it. Right. So you got to ask yourself, you know, what is your environment like as, as far as how much you're going to like or not like it? I think the ultimate scenario is that is that they make it optional. And it's, it's they, you know, just like you pick your wheels, your, your rims, you pick your driving device, whether you want to pick the yoke or pick the wheel. That's the ultimate scenario. Mm -hmm. But more on that in the official video. Stop spoiling it, Will. All right.